Hello everyone. Uh, today's episode, we are going to be discussing how to set up a dedicated VPN server. Um, a lot of people like to use third-party apps like uh, NordVPN um, or VPN Express, but we are going to be setting up our own dedicated uh, VPN server today. Uh, just because some people like their own privacy, like to control, like to add additional users. Um, so it just gives you a little bit more freedom. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to getoutline.org. Um, I will have the links in the description below, depending on where you are viewing this video. Um, the one, the great thing about Outline is that it is free. Uh, the software is free. The Outline Manager, as well as the client, are. Um, but you still need to set it up on a server. Um, so we are going to be going over setting up your server on DigitalOcean today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to be doing is getting an the outline manager will be downloading the software and once the software is downloaded we'll install it now I have already pre-installed the software on my local machine okay and once the software is installed um, we are going to launch it and so you'll see this menu now DigitalOcean is the easiest setup um, you can get a server started for five dollars a month and it has multiple options if you want to upgrade i have ran into issues with google cloud as well as vulture and linode now vulture linode liquid web they are great for other assets for setting up other private servers for uh, say like your own personal dropbox but i do like digital ocean in regards to outline manager it has worked out very nice for me um, and it's quick setup of around less than five minutes. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to launch it, DigitalOcean. You're gonna create your account on DigitalOcean. I already have an account set up, um, so I'm just going to log into my account right now. Alrighty, we'll hit that button. Now, once you're logged in, um, you should be able to authenticate successfully to this window. Um, you're going to want to hit the option left left panel and you are going to want to add a server. Now, I already have two other servers set up on this, but we are going to create a new server right now. And as you can see here, there are eight options. You can set up New York, San Francisco, Amsterdam, Bangalore. So pick a server, whichever server you're closest to, whichever location you're, you're closest to, you want to set that up. We'll hit setup. This usually takes about 60 seconds to two minutes for setup. Um, so we're gonna give it a little bit of time right now. Okay, as you can see, um, it does say this could take up to two minutes. And the great thing about it is you can destroy the server at any time. Um, so if you only wanted to use it for testing purposes to create a quick uh, server, then you can um, next day in any minute, any time of the day, you can just hit cancel. You can hit cancel or delete the server. Alrighty, almost there. Okay. So it looks like our server is created now. As you can see, this is based out of San Francisco. And we have zero bytes have been used. Um, we have one terabyte on the $5 a month basic plan. You get one terabyte worth of bandwidth that you can use. Um, you do have a server access key that is set up already. Um, but you can actually, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new um, access key right now. And we'll hit that button right there. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is to get connected, you're going to want to click connect this device. Follow the instructions. Uh, we are going to copy this access code. And we are going to go back and download the outline client. So we have outline manager installed right now, um, but we are going to follow step three which is download the outline, outline client. And depending on what device you have, uh, whether it is a 
Windows or in Android OS, you're going to have to follow the instructions um, for your device. So we are using Windows today, so we are going to click, select the Windows client. And again, I have already pre-installed the software on my local machine, uh, so we are going to launch that now. And I do have two other servers that I'm already, I already have installed and set up prior to this, but we are going to be adding the access key for this new uh, server. Okay, it looks like we might have an invalid access key, and it is because we have pasted in the incorrect access keys, so that is um, my fault. So let's try again. Okay, so it looks like the access key has been detected. We are going to hit Add Server. And we will hit Connect. And it looks like we are connected. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to open up a browser um, to check the IP address um, as well as test, do a speed test on this. Now my current home speed is around 400 down, 25 up. So it really varies on how far, how close you are to the server if you're gonna be getting that same speed. Um, so we're gonna run a quick speed test and we'll see if we get anywhere near 400, um, which tends to bottle or throttle itself. Um, so it looks like our ping is 27 milliseconds right now. And we're getting around 166, so not too bad. I mean, at the end of the day, this is for privacy purposes. Um, so if you're looking at do surfing the internet, um, you're not going to get a huge uh, degradation in performance. But if you are looking to utilize uh, for gaming, um, for streaming, you might want to do a couple of tests before you start going full on and paying for the server. And uh, that's about it today. Um, so hopefully this was... Uh, a fun tutorial for you and I'll see you in the next video.